Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamite here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Hard Mode playthrough. In the last episode, we left off here at the Professor's house and we got our Dynamax bands that we're not going to be planning on using. Um, if you missed um, last episode as well, we got a bunch of members and um, we are um, going to be using only obviously the Pokemon that we first uh, caught so one species we've caught at first if that makes any sense so basically that means that Ben will go away just like I was gonna do originally anyways so um, I'm not gonna be catching more of the same uh, species I can only use the first Pokemon of that species that I catch so I catch a Rookidy and then catch another rookie after. I can't use the one I catch after. I have to use the one that I got at first. Does that make any sense? It does make a sense, probably. So, yeah. I obviously thought of that rule after the last three episodes. Those last three episodes were recorded right after each other. And this is a new episode. And this... Uh, and, and basically, I thought of different rules um, after that. That could make it more interesting uh, i'm also going to be only using sword and shield pokemon so that's going to be cool um we still have here rick of course gongalala dirk and leo and ufb not sure if i'm going to be using all of these but uh i don't know maybe possibly um rick is going to be interesting because i will have to evolve it i believe at night time and through some friendship i think um into obstacle at least into line one obviously just a regular just plain old regular evolution so we'll have to see whenever we can do that i don't have many much time to evolve in the evening so this is that's gonna be rather interesting either way i think for now we're just gonna rock with this and uh we're just gonna move on i'll first I obviously have to get to a pc in order to um box this other rookie i had one last thing before you raise Alyssa. see i've got some great advice for you you know how you sometimes see Pokemon running out about in the tall grass, yeah? She moves real slow like and crouch down. Those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. Yes. But on the other end, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a feel-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out and let's see who gets the most Pokemon, Alyssa. Alright. You remember Wedge our station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal. See you there. Alright, let's go there. After I get this item that's over here, because I know that's over here. Yeah, there it is. It's a TM for payback. That's actually pretty good on some slow Pokemon, so I might I might give that to someone that's rather slow. I believe Dirk has a minus speed nature, so that could be decent on him. On the other hand, Payback is a dark type move, could also give it to Six Sigun. Uh, let's get rid of Power Trip for Payback then, I guess. It'll be stronger. Alright, I don't think I really want to learn it to anyone else right now. Okay, so that's there. There's a lot of other things around here that we can't get yet, though. Um, I do know, however, there's another item here. A Great Ball. That's better than a Pokeball. It's greater than a Pokeball. And a bottle of fresh water. Very nice. Heals 50 HP, of course. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, we can't go into the water just yet, obviously. We'll have to wait before we get to do that. And then we'll probably have to come back here and get what we missed. Either way, let's move on. There's a Yamper. Like I said, I'm not gonna be planning on using on Yamper. Because I've already used one in my previous playthrough. No, I think I boxed it after it evolved into Bolt Hunt and wanted to use some other things. Right, we're back at Wedgehurst already. But we're not at the station yet, so we'll have to get there first. 
Come on, Alyssa, you never beat me to the station at that pace. Well, you're pretty much already there, so. Pretty much already lost. <laughs> do my Pokemon need healing? I don't think they do. No. They are healthy. They are looking healthy as can be. So out with it, Alyssa. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got not one. What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. Dude, look at my whole team. I have six Pokemon on me right now. I have five that I'm going to be planning on using here. Or at least at this moment. Star-shaped razor shot at the oppo opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Swift. It's a technical machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym jumps will begin in Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Let's go indeed. Do I want to give Swift to anyone? It is a special move. And... The only special attacker I have is UFB. Right now, at least. Yeah, I don't think I'm learning that. Not right now. Okay. Could go to the center to box um, my Rokudi, but I think once we get to the wild area, we can just access our box anywhere. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, wait, no, it, it's our mom's. I thought it was Lee for a second, Leon. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Subble as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you were two were sending out. So here, a last little gift to see you well on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Oh boy, probably something I'm not going to be using, because it will raise the affection of my Pokemon and give me an unfair advantage. So, probably not going to be using the camping either. If you want to see someone use the camping feature, I guess you'll have to watch a different Let's Play. This is not about that. This is about a hard mode. This is to put a little more of a challenge to myself. So, we're not using this. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh-uh. -uh. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. I just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of Champion of Brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. <laughs> oh, boys, have I got news for you. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves, and you'll be welcome back home anytime. We'll be fine. Wish luck, note that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement is running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, Alyssa. Come on, we're off. Alright, let's -a go! To the wild area. We go. Look at that. You know it's 2020 when we're both on our phone. Motor <laughs> soaks around. That's a real sight. There are also the wild Pokemon just running about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. I don't get tired of doing the wild area very easily. Very, uh, yeah. Very easily. That's what I was trying to say. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. What's that to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Alyssa? This is the best bubble place to put together the greatest team. I guess so. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Hey, have you ha and Eevee had a... I knew it. You've had a Let's Go experience with Eevee, haven't you? I hope you'll, be, you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Eevee, too. Boy, we got an Eevee. And this is, obviously, the G-Max Eevee. Which is funny, because now I have two G-Max Eevees. The evolution Pokemon. Because I do have Let's Go Eevee. If you missed that Let's Play, I, yes, did a Let's Play of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Um, how are we going to give you a nickname? I'm not really planning on using you, so... No. I'm going to send you to Box. Because I already have a normal type. I have Zigzagoon. 
Evie, I gave you a special, you know. You should definitely die in a Mexic. No, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Okay, so you give me Pikachu, but I don't have... Let's go Pikachu, still. I should probably get around to that. So I can get that Pikachu, too. Seems like my children are giving something to people who have got a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do you have, sir? Mm, I don't think I really need anything for this, from this. Maybe, like, an antidotes could be annoying to deal with, so... Sure, I'll grab a few. Obviously, I won't be able to use them mid-battle. But should they, uh, they get burned or, you know, anything, you can always heal them afterwards. Alright, revives. Seems are expansive, man. No thanks, not right now. Alright, let's get a move on. Into the wild area. Man, this place is going to be wild. I'm so sorry. Look at all those beams of light. Alright, here we are. Okay, anything behind me? No? Absolutely nothing. Look at that! That's Motostake, way off that way. Motostake? Motostoke. <laughs> and between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Ouch, Professor. Ah, never mind, Dad. Nothing to worry yourself over. Besides, it's been quite... I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish in camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick in my head as many of those red glowing dents as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Alright, you go do that, boy. What cheek! Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. Well, I would if I was allowed to. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red gleam of light. If you think you're up through it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me? We got a Pokemon Box Link. Nice. Now we can use our Pokemon Box anywhere. A device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Awesome. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes. Or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So, go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild there is waiting for you. This is the start of a real adventure. Oh, how nice. How... Nice, my dude. Look at all them people. Alright. So, this is the wild area. Oh, boy. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting without me being able to Dynamax. I guess probably the best way to go about it is just not go and... Um, go into the dens because I won't be able to Dynamax unless of course I go online and let other people Dynamax but I don't want to do that either you found a note did someone drop it here Can you get your camp to restore your HP of Pokemon and even the PP they need to use the moves over and over Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will poke right up as well by being hot blade of curry before them if it's a berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curies well I'm not gonna make the curies but we are still gonna grab some berries I guess Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it some more. Man, that's a lot of berries. 
I'll shake it again. Eh, we'll keep it at 15. I don't want a Pokemon to attack me from the tree. Okay. Oh, another note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your hand, try to run. Run like the wind. Yeah, basically really big Pokemon can spawn as well. That can be uh, a little bit too challenging. Alright. What do you have to say, sir? Love to cook, you've got the right place. Well, the fresh ingredients, no. None of that right now, sir. So sadly, we do not have a bike yet, so we have to do all of this by walking. We've got a big boy Diggisby right there. Another note. Use the right sector to came out of the rail area. Yes, yes, yes. An L to look straight ahead like this. I never actually use that. Probably should. There's a tiny mushroom. Wait, what is this in the grass? Is that a Snorunt? No, it's a Metapod. Why do I think that was a Snorunt? Why do I like the hidden uh, encounters here? Oh, another Wingle. <laughs> okay. It is a Wingle out of here. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I should uh, box my other Rookity. That's right. Alright, Pokemon boxes. I know what Pokemon boxes are, my friend. You don't have to tell me. Alright. Let's check out his Eevee anyway, see what nature it is. Oh, it has adaptability and it's a hasty nature. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's see what's in this uh, pink glowing dead, alright? It's actually the more rare one. Pokemon Dance! I know what they are. Basically, I can fight strong Pokemon and obtain rare items. Fight incredibly strong Pokemon. This is a fairy type. Wait a second, what is this? What is this? It's obviously only a one star. Man, I wonder how difficult this will be without... Without, uh, without Dynamaxing. Let's do it. Let's see. We're gonna obviously not invite others. Oh, it's a Togepi. Well, I won't be able to use that. Alright, well... Using snow is not really a great idea. And I only have this... Sixigoon. Let's just try and use Tackle. Oh yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Ow! Okay. Maybe this is not such a great idea right now to do. I don't know if I would have even been able to do this with Dynamax, because, man, that tackle did absolutely nothing. And it just completely obliterated me. Maybe I should have used my Brookie. Oh, here comes a rock. Yeah, that's game over. Okay, so we're not doing this right now. <laughs> I don't really have anything that's strong with Fairy either. I thought I really wanted a Togepi to begin with. And I don't think I'm going to be using Dynamax uh, Pokemon either. Without it, basically, I'm not going to be using them because, you know, they will have better stats and whatnot. Though I am kind of curious, like, what does actually appear here. There's a Hoodoo. I don't really care for that. 
Okay. The wild areas overflowing with special sort of energy measured in watts. You can get a watts yourself or a glowing dance a glowing Pokemon in the wild. You also find a wild area who are willing to give you sort of items if you just give them your watts. Cool. Like these right here. And you can get some really nice TMs from here. So you'll need to grab a bunch of what before you want, want to get them. Though I already have 900. And the call mind is 2000, so. Really not that bad. Oh, sweet is coming after me. Hello. Oh, she wants to battle me. Hold on. Maybe? You're still asleep, though. Hmm, give me a sec. I know I had one awakening. Alright, you know, just... I'm just gonna use Kongalala here. He's my strongest right now. I'm crazy strong and flushable with cash. Why won't anyone battle me? How about you? Dare to take me on? Sure! Let's see how strong you really are. Chloe. Oh, she has a Grookey as well. Battle of the Grookies. Oh, but you're level 13. Are you serious? That's not very effective. But did basically as much as my scratch did. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea either. Ow, of course you get a freaking crit. You're only a wire type right now. Ooh, I could go into UFB. Cause I do have the struggle buff. Struggle bug. God, that did so much damage. Why did that so much? Man, that sucks. Actually, I should have just gone to Dirk. She wasn't lying, actually. Like this early on, she's actually crazy strong. This will give me some DSN experience if I do manage to beat her. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Ooh, Razor Leaf. That's 55. That's definitely better. Let's get rid of Branch Poke, yeah. I got that Razor Leaf instead. Score bunny. Huh? I'm gonna leave Dirk in here. Let him faint. Use payback. Take this. Ooh, decent damage. Okay, that's all right. Let's go into Leo. I know I'm low level, but best thing I possibly have right now, water gun. Ooh, wow, that's good because I'm using a special move. Heck yeah, decent damage. Oh, I resist that, boy. We take those. Heck yeah, good job, Leo. And now she's probably gonna have the water starter as well. Sobble. Yep. 
Yeah, I'll go into Kongalala. I'm gonna save my Leo. I want him to get the experience. Oof. Alright, race the leaf, let's go. It's faster. Ow. This might be bad. Never mind. Coming through with a one shot. Hell yeah. We actually did it, despite being on the level in this battle. Oh yeah, it was pretty amazing to have beaten me. You're a regular wild area expert. Thank you. You're crazy strong too, I'll teach you a good trick then. There are heaps of items laying around the wild area that people have dropped. Go around picking them up and selling them off and you can be flush with cash too. I'll work on getting even stronger yet, so come find me for another battle sometime. Cool. And I even got some money from you. Tiny mushroom. It's a whooper. It's a whopping whooper. Our diggers be scary, man. I can walk real slow so they don't notice me. That's a whooper. I could probably do that one because I have Krooky. That looks doable. Oh! That's uh, the, uh, the thing that we're using that I can't think of the name of. The pre-evolution of Dread? No, I can't think of the name. I could potentially do this one as well because, you know, I do have Krooky. So that might be a thing. But we already have one of those. I'm not planning to use them anyways, and <sighs> Yeah, I I think I think I'm just not gonna do the raid battles, honestly. Because I'm not allowed to dynamax oh that's a ghastly. I'm not allowed to dynamax and whatnot. Oh god, Glalie, please. Please leave me alone. Okay. I don't want to use the Pokemon I get from the dance because they were gonna have good IVs, and better stats, and whatnot. Anyway, let's move here into Motostoke. Here we go. It's a big place, for sure. And we're gonna be exploring the entirety of this big place in the next episode of our Pokemon Shield Hard Mode playthrough. So, some very interesting events happened. Um, like I said, no Dynamaxing. Raid battles will be a little bit more difficult. Um, maybe if I'm a little bit higher level, I could probably do them, but... Like, I'm not going to use the stuff I get from uh, Raid Battles anyway, so um, don't think I'll be doing much of them, if at all. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this part for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.